since the dawn of history humankind has endeavored to develop materials offering benefits not found in natural materials before the advent of man-made materials the only substances that could be molded were clay and glass hardened clay and glass were used for storage but they were heavy and brittle some natural substances like tree gums and rubber were molded but it wasn't very useful for storage because it eventually lost its ability to bounce back into shape and become sticky when heated the development of plastics started with the use of natural materials with intrinsic plastic properties like shellac and chewing gum the next step in the evolution of plastics involved the use of chemically modified natural materials such as natural rubber nitrocellulose and collagen finally the wide range of completely synthetic materials recognized as modern plastics came into existence one of the earliest examples was invented by alexander parks in 1855 who named his invention parksy we know it today as celluloid created by john wesley hyatt polyvinyl chloride was first polymerized between 1838 to 1872 a key breakthrough however came in 1907 when belgian american chemist leo backland in yonkers new york prepared the first plastic made from synthetic component called backlight do there are a lot of environmental problems which arises from the wrong use of plastics but can society function without plastics let us rethink before vilifying plastics let us remember how immensely useful plastics are these being corrosion resistant lightweight and fatigue resistant let us keep in mind that without plastic our medical advancements would basically be non existent problem is not plastic problem is us we should try to recycle plastics and try to dispose of them in bins intended for the specific purposes our website is coming soon to know more visit our website